everyone welcome to my channel today we will be doing the reading for Virgo and I've shuffled the cards for quite some time welcome to my channel today we will be doing the reading for Taurus for January 2 I was shuffling the cards earlier and this card jumped out it's the moon and it's in the upright position so I will actually use this as your crowning energy for this month so let's set it there, and I've already shut full the cards beforehand. And let's lay out the rest of the cards. We have the Strength upright. Hmm, Eight of Wands upright. Seven of Swords. Knight of Cups. The Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm, I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Pentacles. In reverse page of cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups upright okay so let's look at the crown so I feel like this energy you know even putting yourself in others shoes that might be a little hard for Taurus to do from time to time due to the stubbornness but also putting yourself in others shoes and Basically, I feel that this energy will reverberate throughout the month due to the water signs that are showing up in this card or that might be in your mist. And in fact, I feel that there might be a new love coming in. I do have the Eight of Wands, which denotes, you know, swift action, and it's usually passion. And... It, you have the Knight of Cups in the upright position coming in for you. So, Knight of Cups are water signs. Usually the um, Scorpio, Cancers, and um, Pisces. And in fact, Taurus and Scorpio actually are very compatible in the way they approach life. And, you know, they there is great passion between the two. Um, so... That might be, you know, a Scorpio sign coming in for you. I don't get any other reading from this except that it's a water sign coming in. And I feel in general, with the strength card at the very, you know, beginning of the month, strength is upright, so you do have that. But I feel that at the same time, you might have feelings for somebody, you might have this magnetic attraction to somebody, and yet you're not following your intuition, and you're not acting on it. So it's urging you to act on it, that, you know, what can go wrong? Because you have to take risk in life, so... I would say, you know, muster up the strength, go after that person that you're interested in, because, um... I think everything else should be fine because you have the Knight of Cups in the upright position. The Page of Cups, that's, um, I, I feel like that's dealing with, with another energy later on. So you've got this nice gentleman coming in, you know, offering you this cup of love, offering you his feelings and all these promises. And I think water signs in general are very sincere and they have a good heart. So, you know, act on it. Muster up the strength to show that you're interested and accept that person into your life. I feel like one of the challenges that you've dealt with in the past is um, this um, Five of Swords in that it's a victory. It's a swift victory. on. It might be on your end where the other party is left decimated, is, you know, left destroyed and very hurt. And I feel that with the sword energy involved, there might have been, you know, harsh words exchanged because I feel that people don't really physically battle with swords anymore. So I'm guessing this is more of a intellectual energy in that people do things to hurt others, you know, verbally. So... I feel that you're still recovering from that because this is in between you, this newfound attraction, and this Knight of Cups. So you're worried that, you know, this might end up the same way. And the advice would be, you know, you're dealing with a different energy here. This this Knight of Cups, they're very sincere in general water signs. So you don't have to be fearful of that. Um, 
The next energy I have coming in is um, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Now the Ten of Pentacles upright shows completion and abundance and financial, you know, just abundance. You have an older man, a family, dogs, everyone is happy in this situation. In the reverse situation, I feel that you can still have that, but there is some worry. There's some worry here regarding, you know, if it will maintain that way. Because um, another thing about Taurus in general, they're very um, abundant when it comes to spending. They're a, you're a little bit extravagant, and you like the finer things in life. So maybe it's time to, you know, hone in, like turn back and uh, hold yourself back from spending too much, and just find. Focus on the things that bring you finance, or uh, I'm sorry, spiritual or emotional fulfillment. Focus on that rather than accumulating, you know, material things that you might not need, that serve no purpose in your life, that you will forget as soon as you buy them. So focus on that energy. And this um, ten of uh, pentacles in reverse is coupled with the. Um, Two of Pentacles in reverse, which signifies a balancing act. So I feel like you feel that money is slipping through and you don't feel as abundant as you would like. But on top of that, I think that you know what you need to do. It's just a matter of getting around to doing them, to balance the books, and to find your center again when it comes to either finances or, you know, your own emotional life. So calm those waters. And I feel that you know what you need to do. Um... This is interesting here. You have this, and I'm reading, uh, I will actually read these two together. So you know what you need to do. And I feel that this is you here, the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a younger uh, person that might not be, you know, totally experienced when it comes to emotional relationships. This showed up in the reverse in this reading, right next to this Two of uh, Pentacles. And if you look at them, there's water, you know, crossing the two cards. And um, they're basically, the, the water is flowing through this energy. So that's why I've chosen to read them together. Both in the reverse position. You know what you need to do, and but you're being stubborn about it. You're being a little immature and hesitant about you know, quieting the karma waters and quieting the emotional turmoil within you. And I feel like this also ties in with this upright Knight of Cups. You might be so overwhelmed by your feelings that you don't want to act on it and you don't know how to act on it or you, you try to hold yourself back being an earth sign. So then you don't act when this person comes along. Or it's just... You know, you're at a, a point in your life where, with the energy of the Page of Cups, you feel that it's hard to trust feelings because you feel that feelings are not, you know, solid. They're not something tangible that you can touch and taste and see and hold in your hand. So you're choosing to let that go rather than to pursue your passion and to, you know, follow your, your intuition and guide you to the right place people that you might want to have in your life so with the the water energy here I'm reading them as you know one unit so again you know take heed of this spiritual advice here which is the moon following your intuition doing what you think or what you know is the right thing automatically listening to that inner voice within you and Channel this when you deal with your relationships, when you don't know, when you're at an impasse and you don't know how to go. Listen to that inner voice. We always have that inner voice and it's there for a reason. So, you know, pay more attention to it. So the last um, card that we have here for this month is the Queen of Cups. Again, you have a lot of water energy this month. So you might be dealing with a lot of um, water signs, the Scorpio, Cancers, and Pisces. Or in general, um, you know, the, the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups, they're a little more mature, emotionally mature, and they're upright, which is, you know, what you want. Whereas the Page of Cups, I feel that 
that might not be the water sign in your life. I feel that that's you holding back on your emotions or um, verbalizing your emotional needs to these people because the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups are very gentle. I feel like they're very gentle, well-meaning people. And so it's up to you to, you know, meet them at their level. That Taurus, you you can, you know, forego a few luxury goods just to Im just to maintain your financial equilibrium so that you, you know, you don't have to dip into the red in your savings. So um, let this energy in and the advice, again, is to follow your intuition. Do what your inner voice is telling you and letting the people in not being afraid, so guarded and so afraid to um, show people or tell people what you need out of a relationship. Now, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe.